Just today at the Computex uh, Developer Conference, NVIDIA, uh, Chen Sen Wang, the CEO of NVIDIA, announced that NIMS, so NIMS is short for, for NVIDIA Inference Microservice, are now available for 28 million developers that can download the, these microservices, try out these models. And what, what is a NIM? Um, so maybe let's start with a, start, start with an example, right? So learn, learn by example. So uh, this one would be a NIM. So you go to ai.nvidia.com and you can play with it. You can uh, choose different models here, like the uh, fee mini instruct model. I already checked out different models. I mean, you can check out, of course, the Llama, here Llama uh, 370B instruct, and you can, you can ask it stuff, right? Maybe, maybe let's do it. You just click the model and now um, write a one-liner poem about Finkster. You hit enter and I found it's really fast because it runs on NVIDIA hardware, right? NVIDIA's native hardware. It runs on servers of NVIDIA, uh, basically on these NIMS. Um, so NVIDIA inference. Uh, microservices. So this one is a microservice, an example of such a microservice, it now produces AI. So you call, you, you use it, you, you put in your, your API request and it produces intelligent responses. Right? Finkster's wisdom shines so bright, illuminating code's darkest night. <laughs> okay, I like it. Um, okay, but let's, let's try an image generation uh, because this, uh, this I found really great and mind-boggling. Uh, if we go to this one, Stability AI SDXL Turbo, an extremely fast NIM or microservice. You just click here and now you can... Now we can try it out. Where is it? So let's click this. Select it. Okay, here it is. Okay, and now I want to try it. So... Uh, and image about Finkster learning virtualization robot driving a car some I don't know some just so just put in some words um, and you see it already did it right so now it has a robot it has a self it has a like driving car um, let's maybe have a dragon fighting a robot on Mars. We run it and seconds later, we get the dragon fighting the robot on Mars, right? So uh, so this is a great, uh, great way to access AI and um, I think it will be the next big thing. So what is the NIM? So let's maybe have a quick deep, deep dive. A NIM uh, is short for NVIDIA Inference Microservice. Inference means, so after, after you have trained the model, also on NVIDIA infrastructure, or somebody has done it for you, like OpenAI, like Llama, like Meta, um, like Stability AI and so on. Somebody did the training for you. Now you, you, you maybe have the trained model, but now you need to do inference, right? So, you, so if somebody issues uh, the request or some, um, gives you a query, your model gives and uh, issues a query to your model, you need to run this query on your model and produce an output. The model needs to generate stuff, right? It's about generative AI now. It generates the output. And this generating the output is inference. And this, the idea is to package this inference as a microservice. So you package the AI. It can be now a very specialized AI, as we will see um, later. You package this as a like containerized application, a microservice. And you run it on, infra on NVIDIA infrastructure or your own infrastructure, but it's like, like a contain, like a virtual machine in computing, right? A mini server. And uh, it is already pre-configured in anything. You just run it, host it, and now everybody can access your AI, your specific AI solving a specific problem uh, by means of NVIDIA, uh, this uh, NVIDIA inference microservice. And so it allows you to accelerate the deployment of foundational models like we have seen, Stability AI foundation models, Llama foundation models, on any cloud or data center infrastructure. So we have the inference, we have the microservice consisting of, say, industry standard APIs. So for example, if you have an AI uh, that access stock data uh, or livestock data, may, maybe it calls internal API or APIs, right? So you can chat with 
your preferred stock or something like this. It needs to have the real-time price data and maybe it fetches the real-time price data via uh, the Yahoo API or so, right? So you have, and now you have integrated all of this in a containerized service, say in a Docker container or so, and you host it on your cloud, so it runs on your cloud, it's pre-configured, it is very simple to deploy. And the inference is really fast because it uses uh, the Triton um, NVIDIA um, inference infrastructure. And uh, yeah, it's great for enterprise, great if you want to host and run your own AI. It has already pre-configured AI models that you just need to customize. Uh, for instance, you can use automatic speech recognition, text-to-speech, you can vi video generation, image recognition, image generation, uh, video language models, biolog biology and retrieval models, and so on. So a quick example, let's have a fun example. It's this uh, example of digital humans, right? So you could think of a Vim like something like this. So it could be, a, say, a, an intelligent doctor or maybe an AI for a game. And this would be then, this AI would then run on this Vim, right? It would be one instance of the Vim of this microservice. Um, uh, NIM, <laughs> not VIM, uh, NIM for NVIDIA um, inference um, uh, microservice. And it would run on the cloud and it can now, you can now talk to it. It now feels and perceives like a human, right? And it's already pre-configured. So you can use, say, uh, let's have another, another demo, um, like speech to face, uh, audio to face, right? Now we can think of this, we can, we can select an avatar like Claire, for instance. Um, now it needs to load it. Right, now we have the avatar, we have an audio sample. This audio sample could be generated with text to speech, right? So let's, let's have male anger. With tenure, Susie would have all. Okay, so let's choose this one. Uh, so an, an angry man, we select this. And now we run, we run this and we can, we can control the the, the, the With tenure. Susie had had all the more leisure for yachting, but her publications are no good. Okay, you see now um, this is kind of strange, but but now you can do things like this, right? Uh, it's not perfect yet, but the idea is to to integrate. So so you can now have your own pipeline of AI services and fed, put it all together, right? So you can generate say say prompt to 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 text or text to text um, model, then you have the text output. You can feed the text output in a speech generation. You can feed the speech into, uh, into kind of this facial, uh, face, uh, face generation model. And now you have like a whole video sequence, a character, for example, in the game, um, syn synchronizing the lip movement and the facial expression to the dynamically generated text. So, which is great, right? Now you can really have, um, like, in, in, you can create digital humans, basically, right? So, um, so let's maybe go over a few points I found interesting. Um, uh, so now this is like summar summarized from the from the launch. It's available for 28 million developers, and the main idea of this. Um, NIMS is to reduce the deployment time of AIs from weeks to minutes because now you, it's like a plug and play. You can plug together different AI models, containerize them, and then offer the container as a microservice on, in the cloud. Um, using NVIDIA infrastructure, you don't need to purchase your own GPUs. You pay per use, right? This uh, um, standard cloud model. And uh, you can you can run your own AI applications pretty quickly. So I think it's a great idea. And um, it will, of course, accelerate NVIDIA's um, uh, growth story, in my opinion, uh, because we might see billions of those NIMS deployed everywhere. Uh, NIMS for different, like NIMS for, uh, a few examples are here, NIMS support applications in healthcare, digital biology, powering tasks like surgical planning, digital assistance, drug discovery, clinical trial optimiz optimization, right? They can be focused. You can assemble a team of um, experts and each NIM can be an expert in, an in another thing and you can assemble a digital team of those experts to create a t like a, a team or an organization even, an um, organization of t consisting of multiple teams of experts of things to create a scalable value. I think this is really like a mind-boggling 
um, new new paradigm that uh, we are looking at. And actually, uh, if you if you go to academy.thinkster.com, this is our academy. Uh, the one of the recent courses is about building complex multi-agent teams and systems with Langraph. So the idea is already out there. We already have this course. You can check out the course on the Finkster Academy. Again, go to academy.finkster.com. Uh, it's our paid course, but it's worth it. It helps you be on the right side of change. And uh, yeah, our newest course about hugging face is also great, to, where Dirk shows you how to how you can run free and open source large language models locally to, to generate this stuff. And yeah, now a new paradigm we have is this NIM. And they have already integrated with lots of partners and customers that use it, uh, like hugging face. They also have the capabilities of, of, of deploying AI um, apps using those NIMS. Um, so you don't need to have any AI in infrastructure at home, right? Which is like great for you as a developer. And um, they already have a lot of microservices like, like Meta Llama 3 or Microsoft's Fast and Efficient Model 5.3. Um, uh, again, you can play with those at ai.nvidia.com, and um, um, yeah, so I think it's uh, it's, it's great. Uh, here, this is a general general method you would you would then use. You can you create uh, you deploy this NIM using a Docker command. You run your own Docker container, for instance, and then you can access or the, run the inference actually using a simple API request, and you can build your own and. Um, APIs, for instance, are connected to your own APIs. Uh, yeah, using using like simple commands. It's pretty simple to set up such such an AI container. And um, yeah, there are already many industry use cases. Foxconn used it for domain specific LLMs in AI factories. We have Pegatron. Um, we have MDocs, like for billing accuracy. Um, we have customer service NIMS. Service now also use it for customer service and. Um, and yeah, Siemens uses it to for shop floor AI and, and industrial co-pilot. So on the floor of a shopping mall, you now could talk, for instance, um, to a, to a humanized AI uh, by, that was created with such a NIM microservice, right? And uh, yeah, I already showed you like this real-time scales of digital humans that could be deployed using those NIMs. Um, I already gave you the demo and yeah so i think so what are some key points to consider we uh in the next year we will see a huge push towards those nim to to like um deploying variations of those ai models with different capabilities and expertise fine tuning uh, models by the way fine tuning we also have courses on the Finkster academy so check the, them out as well um and also, by the way, uh, the free way to support us would be to just to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate having you here. I appreciate having your, att your attention. Um, yeah, it's very easy for developers to now deploy their model, their AI models, and maybe offer, uh, maybe sell access to, to, to this AI model, right? If you have a great AI model that with unique capabilities, you could deploy, deploy such a NIM and sell access like maybe sell tokens or so, token access. So everybody could create their own mini API, um, application programming interface and uh, uh, software as a service company where you just sell access to those. If you have unique value proposition, if your AI can do something that is useful for, for other people, they could access your API and uh, pay you um, per access, right? So you could create your own mini cloud by, by means of uh, NIMS. And uh, yeah, the idea is to have uh, domain specific models, um, to have pre-built containers that you can deploy, you can scale up or down as, as your application requires, right? If you have a lot of um, demand for your services, you just would, uh, would spin, up, spin off more containers and it would be done automatically by NVIDIA. If you have less demand, then it would scale down uh, your containerized AIs. Uh, it's great for enterprises to build uh, things. Yeah, let's not go through through this, this kind of uh, key points. I think we already mentioned everything. It will be an ongoing release. They just launched it officially today. Today they gave access to, to this like uh, to develop to many developers in the world um, and I think it will be an ongoing uh, 
um, learning journey for all of us. Thanks for watching this video. Please give me a like, subscribe to the channel. You can check out our free email newsletter. Just go to finkster.com, F-I-N-X-T-E-R.com. You can subscribe anywhere. Uh, I, my main purpose in life is to help you be on the right side of change. So, uh, so check out the, the Finkster newsletter. Also check out our uh, academy courses. Uh, we have many courses that do exactly that, help you stay on the right side of change. Um, you can also access the academy courses by just becoming a channel member here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.